mine and we will go. A mine and we will go. I hold their realm and we will go. Alright guys, fake shot last time. I'm gonna dig out a couple more blocks. Then, I'm gonna take you into a testing room. That testing world is right here. This is my redstone testing world. Kind of in the center here in this fenced off area. I keep a lot of the basic um, redstone circuits that are useful. I label them because I'm kind of a dark and tree of stuff is. But looking right now for a dual edge monostable circuit. Uh, which, for those of you who don't know, is a circuit which will give off one tick when it's activated and one tick when it's deactivated. However, you go about accomplishing that. So that's one tick on the rising edge and one tick on the falling edge. The reason I'm thinking about this right now is I'm trying to think of, or was trying to, I guess, past tense, Think of ways to soften the mob, like a mob softener, without just dropping them in the standard blocks so that they could be one hit. But couldn't find any dual edge, so I had to kind of keep looking around. And eventually, uh, this pause here actually is me looking up a video I don't remember whose video I looked at when I started building this. Um, but this is not my design. So, if you happen to recognize it, please let me know. Uh, otherwise, I mean, I'll try to look for it, but this is definitely not my design for the redstone circuit that I'm about to build. So, uh, it was actually a very clear redstone video as well, which was nice. And I was able to follow how it works. Um, oh, this is sad. Okay. Um, I actually had this entire segment recorded and I forgot to hit the right button. So it did not store the recording at all. This is the circuit that I was just talking about. Um, now, those of you who don't understand redstone, I'll try to explain it a little bit. Off to the right, we have a lever uh, on a block, and on that block, we have a redstone torch. Now, um, torches, when you provide the block that they're attached to with power, will actually turn themselves off. Now, currently, with the lever in the off position, the torch is on. That torch, then, is powering the repeater, and because it's a repeater, it'll hard power that block which means it'll be able to give that redstone dust there a signal. Now we turn it on, that will turn the redstone torch off, but will provide direct power to that block as well, turning the redstone back on. Uh, so I guess a little bit of redstone tutorial in all in one here. Next part, I'm going to be figuring out a Different way to soften the mobs. I've been kind of going back and forth. I don't know how I want to do this yet. I want to kind of avoid doing your standard 23 block mob drop. So I've happened upon this idea. Um, And what I'm building here, like I said, it's going to be a mob softener using redstone. But, what we are going to be doing, with the inclusion of this, some of you might have figured it out. We're using that dispenser to soften a mob. 
how we're going to do this. I'll let you know in a little bit. First level, we're going to try out another redstone experiment real quick. Uh, with stone and wooden buttons, um, I'd forgotten earlier that I tried this out. Stone and wooden buttons, for those who don't know, give off different redstone power lengths. But now we're going to do the actual testing bit. And I'm going to burn the undead butts of zombies and skeletons with lava. Of course. Which kind of all unfortunately led to the conclusion, uh, which you'll see kind of as we roll through here, that uh, well, unfortunately lava doesn't work in this case, or as I have it set up. Um, so twice later on, uh, once now later on, I forget that you need to be at least in easy mode in order to spawn things. And I have also forgot Minecraft 101 that uh, the zombies burn in daylight. So, test number one uh, of the system is a complete failure, uh, obviously, since. I didn't even get a chance to activate it before you started dying. Let's see. Me too. Kind of give him a double test. Tried at one point, broke it. So gonna drop the redstone experiments for now, um, or I guess give it one more go here. I never could quite walk away from it. Uh, unfortunately, this did break the circuit, so I had to kind of fix it. And this is actually where I decided to give up. On um, this temporarily. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like we're probably going to go with the 23 block drop that's often used in these type of things. But we'll see. We will see. This, for those who don't uh, never visited, is my Minecraft game mechanics testing world. I've tested everything from Minecraft ladders to how far different mobs need to drop. Found out that uh, tilled land is not quite a full block and not spawnable. And does actually let a little bit of light through. Uh, the experiment to the upper left of the screen there for a quick second was a attempt at making a spider farm. Uh, which I don't think I ever saw. It's own realization. Unfortunately, despite the love I had for that world, I ended up getting bored with it and started over. Uh, so we're going to kind of build this class too, but I still haven't quite given up on the idea of trying to use something other than just fall damage. Uh, so we're back. We're back to lava. And we're going to run some new experiments.
we get to try again. Physiologists are. Unfortunately, mobs swim in lava for some stupid reason. And it apparently doesn't matter how thick the lava actually is. Ah, excuse me. So next try, um, is going to be lowering the lava down. So we just want to see who it is. Right. Yeah, it goes a little bit deeper. But, I mean, the whole idea of the lava was that I didn't have to create a giant 23 block tube to uh, try to kill these guys with. So, getting too much higher with this tube isn't really going to do anything for us in the long run. So this time we're going to try and see if the lava being off to the side, so it's not necessarily a source block that they go through, makes any difference. And unfortunately, it doesn't. At least it doesn't appear to it. So. I think this is kind of kind of a failure at the moment, but it's okay. You know, this is just the first try, first idea, or second idea, I guess, now, since the redstone didn't work out. And, uh, who knows? Maybe next time we come back, we'll, uh, have figured something out. Thank you. 